Hello, my name is Wally. I'm the brand manager for NSC and Spirits. Welcome to my Spirits Magazine interview. I have um, been in the spirits industry for around about three years now. I um, have quite a bit of experience in other parts of FMCG as well, but spirits has been for three years. I'm ecstatic. Um, it feels great to be the new brand manager of, of NSC Nigeria. Um, there's been a lot of great work that's been done by people in the past who have managed this brand. And I think it's a privilege to be able to um, take on this huge responsibility I might had and take the brand to new heights. NSC is arguably the biggest premium spirits brand in Nigeria, DSA West Africa. And um, the scale of the job, the complexity that I knew would come with um, managing an international premium spirits brand. On the job, no day is the same. There's always something different for you to do. There's always um, um, an exciting brand project. And because of NS's size and NS's, NS's scale, we never do things small. It's always big, it's always massive, it's in your face. And that for me is the most exciting part. Having been on this role for a while, what would be the most memorable, memorable experience would be when I had to um, organize a photo shoot with um, arguably three of Nigeria's biggest artists. Um, it seemed impossible to pull off, but we pulled it off and I was very proud when it happened. I think it is much less about new ideas and, about, and much more about how we can leverage on the salience and strength of the brand to continue to keep the brand relevant within the wines and spirits industry in Nigeria. And personally, what, what I bring to the table is, is, is versatility, is an ability to, to be able to see things differently and to be able to constantly evolve um, with the consumer while staying true to the ethos of the brand. And because we never do things small, it is, it's, it is almost impossible on, on a day-to-day -day basis to think of something as simple as planning a press conference is a, is a major deal because of the personalities that have to be involved. Um, so that comes with, comes with its own unique challenges, but it also comes with its own unique rewards as well, just getting to do things like that on a day-to-day -day basis. The fact that um, an SS tagline of never stop, never settle, actually kind of um, is synonymous with who Nigerians are as a people. We are resilient, we are tough, um, we are always on the lookout for, for what's next and what's better. And it's that restless and agile and um, never say that spirit that makes the brand gel so much with, with Nigerians. Making a brand remain relevant in, in Nigeria is very important because of the constantly evolving nature of Nigerians, always want, wanting something new. So um, I think the key thing is being able to identify the common areas between the Nigerian consumer and the brand and being able to um, creatively explore those common areas in such a way that um, the consumer begins to see the brand constantly evolving with them whilst always remaining um, true to what the brand stands for, which is never stop, never settle, um, elegance, and the um, beautiful fusion of blends of UDVs that makes NSC NSC. The fact that we're a people that love to celebrate, the fact that um, celebration is, a, is, is embedded in the fabric of, 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 the, of the Nigerian person, and the fact that we are a uh, uh, restless people who, con who continue to improve and seek for the best against all the odds and because at this at every point in time whilst Nigerians are doing this um, they need a brand that can stand with them and that they can use to celebrate a brand that um, stands as a symbol of accomplishment and that exactly is what makes NSA very relevant. In Nigeria um, the NSC range, or the variant of NSC starts with um, NSC Very Special, and that's um, popularly known as NSC VS. And then there's Very Special Old Pill, which is NSC VSOP. Um, 
of course there's NSCXO and beyond this range are um, some other um, super luxury variants like uh, the NSC Paradis, the Paradis Imperial and the Richard NSC. These are um, super luxury variants as I said that um, are reserved for very special occasions. If, if we were to go beyond that and then talk about the limited editions that that are available from time to time, but again, because they are limited editions, they, pump, they, they are available for a moment and then we take them out of circulation. So, but the ones that are constantly available um, in, in or out of seasons, VS, VSOP, and XO. Nigeria's alcohol and beverage industry is at an exciting time, I think, because, yeah, people, um, the, the Nigerian consumer is becoming more aware of spirits and the consumer behavior is beginning to evolve, it's beginning to change and um, they are, the consumer is becoming more aware of um, the plethora of brands that are available to them. That's what makes it exciting but again what that means then is for brands it's an equally exciting time as well because it then means that um, um, for a brand to remain relevant in Nigeria as of today the brand needs to be very nimble. The brand needs to be able to identify the nuances um, that comes with the changing consumer behavior and the brand needs to be able to adapt to it. I think for the spirits and beverage industry in Nigeria, the potentials are limitless. And if there is any time to be a brand manager, I w I'm glad that I'm a brand manager now. Yeah. Because of the brand name NSC itself and the fact that NSC has been a, a cognac of distinction um, through the ages um, makes it, makes it um, relatively easy for NSC to, for the brand to stand in, in a class of its own. And of course, what even makes it, what even reinforces that uniqueness and distinctiveness is that um, no other brand in Nigeria um, operates um, at the scale and um, executes with the level of attention to detail and distinctiveness that um, NSC does presently in Nigeria. So it makes it Pretty, pretty easy for us to do that from a brand perspective and an execution perspective as well. Yeah, yeah art history. I get asked that question a lot of times actually. Um, art history is a communication and activations platform um, that is a property of NSC globally. And what art history um, aims to deliver is um, to strengthen a relationship, the relationships that exist between the brand and consumers, between the brand and the media, and also to um, deliver media properties that um, uh, remain relevant through time. In Nigeria, um, the main platform by which um, art history has been brought to life is music. And I dare say that um, NSC art history has been uh, an integral part of the social calendar of Nigeria through the years. I remember growing up and seeing the NSC Art History execution with um, Between Two Face and uh, Whiskey. Um, I remember the, the song that MI did with a couple of other people, Bartender. Then those were, those were the songs we looked forward to year in, year out. NSC Art History is a core, pro is a, it's, it's an integral part of, of, of driving brand awareness in, in Nigeria and I dare say in, in, in other parts of the world as well. Um, because every, every activity that NSC executes um, is always woven around the tapestry or the platform um, that's called Art History, be it um, the VS Glass, which is a hip hop platform that discover, discovers up and coming rappers, to the ciphers that basically blends together different talents from different parts of Nigeria to just basically de deliver um, their rap skills to the artistry concerts themselves, which have become the concert to beat within the um, Nigerian entertainment landscape. So definitely it's a core part of our awareness program. It's a symbiotic relationship between um, the brand ambassadors and, and the brand. And I stand as the intermediary, so to speak, the person who um, um, 
kind of explains the relationship that should exist. So sometimes it's a, it's a, it's a love it relationship because sometimes I need to do what I need to do with the ambassadors and at the end of the day we always get the job done. We because we get to we need to portray the brand in a specific in a specific way and we need the ambassadors to do that. The celebrity brand ambassadors bring the brand to life. That's what they do. What I do is to ensure that they bring the brand to life. Because um, the brand itself is, is a living entity, the celebrity ambassadors themselves have personalities. There is um, a tendency for one to overshadow the other. Um, my job is to ensure that there's a balance. The relationship between NSC and Afropop culture is not something that just started today. It's a relationship that the brand has deliberately cultivated over the years um, from the relationships that between NSC and Tupac when he dropped his famous Tupac track um, to the ones between us, um, Jay-Z, just to name a few. And um, it's because um, uh, the Nigerian consumer tends to be influenced a lot by what happens in these cultures. Um, it's also helped to um, accelerate the diffusion of NSC. Um, how NSC has been able to integrate with Afropop and Afropop culture as well. And of course, the, the um, collaborations between the brand and icons like MI um, or um, Timaya um, and uh, Tiwa Savage, to name a few, as helped as well to ensure that um, the brand not only remains relevant within Afropop culture, but it is top of mind when it comes to Afropop culture. If I were to meet the inventor of NSC today, I would say thank you. Thank you for, um, for um, having the foresight to um, work on such a beautiful brand, and um, thank you for giving people like me over 250 years later uh, the opportunity to continue to fly the flag of such an iconic brand. The fact that I would, I would love people to, to know about, about NSC that it's probably not common knowledge already is the fact that NSC is a cognac and it's made from grapes. Um, because of the proliferation of brown spirits and brown spirit, brand, spirit brands and within the market, people always get confused and just assume NS is just any other brown spirit. NS is fine cognac that is made from grapes that are vested within a limited space in France. And um, because it is made from grapes, um, it is susceptible to variations in weather and soil conditions. So it takes artistry, actually, for the master blender to mix, to find the appropriate blend of UDVs to get that perfect VSOP blend, that perfect VS blend, that perfect EXO blend every single time. I guess that's where NSC art history comes from. My NSC and how I drink it is dependent on my mood um, and dependent on the, on, on the occasion as well. Um, if I'm at home with friends, um, I like my NSC straight on the rocks. A large single block of ice, I'll pour my NSC VS or VSOP over it. And people would ask me, why do you do that? Um, why do you do that over ice? Um, and I guess it's, it's because as the ice melts, the water is infused into the blend, and then you get the, very, the different flavors and the different um, nuances of NSC as a brand begins to flow into your mouth, the hints of spice and it's, it's just a beautiful experience and um, that I would do it if, if I was home. When I'm outside and, and uh, people ask again, um, what's, what's, what's the best um, way to mix your NSC? For me, I, there are a million and one ways to do that, but my favorite is, is the Anyberry, which is, um, it's called the Anyberry, which is a mixture of, of NSC and cranberry juice and for me it's just the perfect blend that um, is, a, is a little bit sweet but at the same time you can get the, the mellow flavor that um, NSCVS brings. NSC and soda, any form of soda is, is it's, what, it's what's popular within the Nigerian subculture and I guess it is because of the sweet palate. 
um, that comes as in that the Nigerians have. So I guess, um, I guess uh, for me it is um, because of the way the brand is and the freedom that the, that, that, that the brand allows, um, you can interact with your NSC um, any way you like and um, get the appropriate flavor, the required flavor, the required taste that you want for yourself. I guess that's the beauty of the brand as well because the product is very versatile. Which of the NSC collections do I drink? I think, um, big, apart from the fact that I'm, I'm the brand manager, the, the, the NSC range gives me the opportunity to interact with different brands at different moments. Um, if, for example, um, I'm at home, I would rather do uh, NSC VS, for example, because of its mellow flavor and because of the way I would like to drink it, of course, over, over, over a large block of ice. If I'm outside with friends, um, I would do a VSOP, I would, I would do a XO, because, uh, again, um, the occasion um, would, would help to, to determine how I would choose the variants I would, I would interact with and the variants that I would drink. Um, but I guess the beautiful thing of NSC as a brand is that you can interact with it any way you like. You can pick any variant any time that you like and just do your own thing with it, a matter of style and choice.